Hi everybody. We will use TI-84 calculator and StatCrunch to find the confidence interval for population mean and for the population proportion. Uh, first to open StatCrunch, go to learning materials, StatCrunch, StatCrunch website, open StatCrunch. Right, so we have the problem at the bottom of the page. First, we find the 95% confidence interval for the population mean and the sample size of 35 has mean equal to 19 and standard deviation of 1. So we go to stat. If we want the population mean, go to T stat, one sample. And that sample, we have the summary, meaning we have the mean and standard deviation. If we choose with data, we have to use the list uh, here. All right, use with summary. Uh, the sample mean of 19, standard deviation of 1, sample size of 35. Uh, we're not testing hypothesis. We go to the confidence interval of 95%, and then we compute. We have the upper limit and the lower limit. So this is the confidence interval. Now, if we use the TI-84 calculator, is that go to test and we find the confidence interval. So we look for interval. And this is the sample, I'm sorry, population mean. So for the mean, we will use the T interval. Hit enter. And we have statistic. This statistic, we have the mean of 19, standard deviation of 1, and the sample size of 35. We compute 95% confidence interval and calculate. Uh, we have 18.656 and then 19.344. So the answer should be the same. So that is the confidence interval for the population mean. We use T interval on the TI-84 calculator and we go to uh, the T stat uh, for stat crunch. Next we go to the population proportion. And we use stat run first. So we will go to stat, proportion stat of one sample with summary. Right. So the number of success, we have 135. Uh, answer yes to the question and A100 observation. And then um, we once again we find a confidence interval of 97 percent and then we just compute so this will be the lower limit and up limit for the confidence interval of the population proportion now on TA84 calculator hit start go to test and once again, we find interval. So will be one of this. And this is proportion interval. So we're going to choose that option. Uh, X135 and A100. And 97% confident interval. And we calculate. Uh, we should get the same answer both. Once again, one proportion Z interval on a TI-84 calculator and prop proportion stat on stat range. Thank you for watching.